Hey guys, it's Ben here, and these are the five players that I think Jurgen Klopp should sign for Liverpool this summer. So it's going to be a busy summer for Liverpool, let's start the transfer because he's going to be bigger than they've ever had before and if they sell the players that I suggested that they should in my recent Liverpool video, which I'll put a link to in the description, they will have a huge sum of money to play with this summer and these are the five players that I think they should buy. Number one is Mohamed Salah. Now this deal looks like it will happen, Liverpool have bid £28 million for him, Roma won 35 so it looks like a compromise should be able to be made there. The player is obviously keen for the move, Liverpool have offered £90,000 a week reportedly which is double his current wage and Salah is a player that has got a keen eye for goal, he scored 15 league goals for Roma this season in just 29 starts, he scored 14 the season before whilst on loan, he did well at Fiorentina whilst on loan from Chelsea and even at Chelsea he was okay, he never really got a chance to have a proper run in the first team but he plays on the wing and he's got almost a 1-2 in two record everywhere he's been. He's 24 years of age, he's got bags of pace, a lot of trickery, uh, he's really quick with his feet, he moves in and out of players really well. A really clinical finisher all throughout his career and he's played at the highest of levels and he's still very young. I think it's a player that Liverpool could bring in and he would provide cover for Manny on the right hand side or even maybe play on the left. It would give Liverpool lots of options, lots of pace going forward, something they lacked last season, especially when Manny was away, be that through at the African Cup of Nations or through injury. There was no real pace and breaking down teams became much more difficult for the Reds. Obviously with Sally do have the issue of him being African and with Mane going away he'd be going away at the same time but that's early 2019 when we next have to worry about that. I don't think Liverpool should necessarily call off a deal based on the fact that in a year and a half time you're going to miss him for a month. If this is the player Jürgen Klopp rates, if he's the player he thinks is going to maybe lead him towards the title this season, then he's the player that needs to come in. And if they're willing to part ways with a couple more million pounds in their initial bid, then I cannot see this deal not happening. Okay, the second player that I think Liverpool should sign this summer is Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain. He's a player that Liverpool were linked with a couple of months ago and it was met with mixed reactions. Some people felt it wasn't good enough, especially if he was going to be sold for around the £35 million pound mark, which was touted but he's one of the most versatile attacking players in the Premier League he's an England international the second half of the season just gone he was really pivotal to Arsenal finishing the season strongly particularly in the FA Cup he played well in the final and the semi-final you can play him at wing back you can play him in centre mid you can play him in the 10 you can play him out wide you can play him off the front he gives you so many options it's all about pace again for Liverpool something they really need to invest in this summer and Oxley chairman has that in abundance but in the last couple of months I've been impressed with how he's progressed and I'll be really keen to take a player from Arsenal as well one of Liverpool's direct rivals in the Premier League and with his contract nearly up I think Liverpool could get a good deal for him if they could get him for around 20 to 25 million I think it's a no-brainer. Okay number three is Virgil van Dijk now it's no secret that Liverpool have been crying out for another centre-back. Matip and Lovren have both been struggling with injuries for the last year they've never really been able to form the partnership that many would have hoped they could and that's meant that Lucas Leiva and Magna Klavan have had to deputise. Mamadou Sacco is lucky to leave. Liverpool do need a marquee centre-back and if Liverpool can pip Chelsea and Man City to van Dijk it would show what Liverpool do still have that pulling power. It would show that they can still compete with the richest clubs in the league and that it's not just money that's going to be playing a factor in where players want to go. I think the lure of working with Jurgen Klopp has attracted Van Dijk. It looks like he is keen to play for Liverpool. It's just a case of getting these negotiations done, paying up for him. It looks like Southampton will want, they want 70 million for him, but 50 should really be enough to seal it for the Reds. Him and Matip are both very comfortable on the ball. They'd be able to form a really solid partnership and hopefully one that Liverpool can build from because they weren't able to build from the back and their season just gone because of the injuries back there. I think Van Dijk would finally solve Liverpool's defensive woes. Okay, number four is Naby Keita. Now, Liverpool have been interested in this guy for months on end. I mean, I'm not one that's going to claim I've seen much of him, but from what I've read and from how Leipzig have performed in the league this season, it's clear that he's one of their key players. He's bagged eight goals, which is good for a box-to-box -box midfielder. He's only 22 years of age. Liverpool already have an abundance of talent in midfield, but there were times when Lucas Labour had to play in the Premier League last season. As much as I love him, Liverpool are going to be competing for the Premier League title and going late in the Champions League and other competitions they need a bit more quality especially one with so much energy and creativity in him a proper number eight which they haven't really had for a while since Steven Gerrard left whether it would take a 50 million pound bid to lure Cater away from Leipzig I'm not sure but it'd certainly be a coup given how highly everyone's talking about this bloke okay and the final player that I am desperate for Liverpool to sign is Alexandra Lacazette 
from Lyon. Haven't really been any strong links for Lacazette with Liverpool. They are among the favourites to sign him along with Arsenal, a club in which I could also see him fitting in really well. But he scored over 20 goals in each of the last four seasons at Lyon in all competitions. He's 26 years old, about to enter the prime of his career. He's proved that he's not a one-season wonder. He's maintained his unreal form for four years now. It's time for him to make the move to the big time. And with Atletico Madrid having the transfer ban, they were the favourites to sign him. It really opens the door for someone like Liverpool to swoop in and get this Frenchman who is one of the most prolific strikers in Europe. Similar to Daniel Sturridge in the way that he plays, especially the Sturridge a few years ago, a lot of pace, great at running in behind, natural finisher. Again, it's going to take a lot of money for Liverpool to get this done. You probably are looking around 40 to 50 million. But I think in terms of strikers out there, he's one of the safest bets in terms of if he's going to get you 20 goals. And that's not something Liverpool had last season. And maybe if they did, they would have been able to stay in the title race longer. So for those five players, you probably are looking at around £200 million spend, but with the £100 million kitty lift we already have, and the money that they would make from the players that I suggested in my Five Players Lift or Should Sell video, which I'll link to in the description, then there's a good chance they can get these deals done. I do think they also need a left back, but I don't think they need to spend big on one. I think they'll probably go for someone like Andrew Robertson or Ben Chilwell or someone like that. Shame to miss out on Sessegnon. Milner does need some competition, maybe even a replacement there, but I think the spine of the team is what needs the most attention. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Please do subscribe, like it, and leave a comment with the five players you think Liverpool should sign. Follow me at Ben Might Say on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, and Facebook and I'll see you next time.